For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. On a cool but dry afternoon last week, Extension entomologist Mike Gray from the University of Illinois wanted to take a drive looking for a specific kind of farm field, one filled with winter annuals, uh, weeds. Why? Well, because the late corn planting will cause a very short interval between the time those weeds will be sprayed and the time the field will be planted. The fact is the weeds will probably still be alive, but dying when the corn comes up, and that's a problem in the making most farmers are not used to thinking about. If their BT corn variety isn't designed to control the black cutworm, then the weeds will provide the perfect temporary home and feeding ground for the black cutworm and, more importantly, its larvae. The cutworm is actually a moth that migrates northward into the Midwest. There is a striking black dagger on each of those four wings that's readily apparent. So they're relatively easy moth uh, to identify. He explains what it looks like for a reason. The short time frame between the wheat management and corn planting could mean a sharp increase in cutworm injury to the seedling crop. The black cutworms, uh, again, once the, once the uh, uh, larvae hatch from eggs, uh, initially they will begin to feed on these weeds. But as weeds are destroyed either through tillage or herbicides, and as corn seedlings begin to emerge, these black cutworm larvae will move off their weed hosts onto these young developing corn plants. Corn plants at the four leaf stage or below are most susceptible to cutting. Initially, producers scouting their seedling cornfields will see small pinholes in the leaves. However, right now is the time to take action, says Mike Gray. Look for the weedy field, which will be planted to a BT corn variety that won't control the black cutworm, and install a pheromone trap. The pheromone trap uh, basically uh, is used to, again, capture the, the moths. And when we have what is known as a biofix, which would be when you capture nine or more moths over a one or two day period, at that point we can begin to accumulate uh, heat units, uh, growing degree days, uh, as they're often referred to, using a base 50 degree Fahrenheit as our threshold. So, producers with weedy fields to be planted to a corn variety that does not control the black cutworm should install pheromone traps now. Scout those traps regularly, and if nine moths are captured over a one or two day period, then the biofix is in and can be used to calculate when cutting may take place. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.